all right what's going on guys today we are headed out to gurney we're taking the mini uh, i was thinking about taking the bmw but we're actually going to take the mini um this garage here uh and we are actually going to pick up i've already kind of made some room my little skeleton friend uh in the back here uh we are going to pick up a gladiator <laughs> exhaust uh for a friend of mine a co-worker so uh i don't know i'm hoping that it's gonna fit um really 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 hoping it's gonna fit uh the exhaust comes in like sections of two to four feet i'm pretty sure uh, it's like a dual exhaust and yeah so i am just hoping that uh it's gonna fit in here out of the box obviously the box is definitely too big but we gotta stop for gas and then uh we're gonna head out to gurney uh, which is about an hour and a half away from me here in naperville uh and then uh yeah so off to get gas and then uh hour and a half drive out to gurney so let's see if this thing fits in here all right what's up we just hopped on the highway got some gas uh and yeah it's about another uh 45 minutes uh, from where we are now and again we're just kind of winging it hoping that this exhaust fits in the mini uh, it'll be real sucky to drive uh, an hour and a half out here um, and uh, have it not fit so um, yeah like I said we got about 45 minutes out here um, pick it up bring it back probably stop somewhere for uh, for dinner i don't know find somewhere i have never been and grab some something new try something new out in gurney i don't know um but and then tomorrow uh we will be installing it on uh the gladiator so that'll be another video um so yeah anyways uh, i'll see you when i get there all right we just picked it up i just wanted to pull over and make sure that everything was good to go in here it is a fucking tight fit if it was an inch bigger it would not have fit in here <laughs> Uh, maybe if I took all the parts out of it, out of the box, but I guess you had to jam the freaking door closed. Um, well, even the passenger door. Yeah. But she barely fits in there. Uh, we got a full gladiator exhaust in here, dual exhaust. So, let's see if I can get this thing to close again properly. There we go. Alright. Now to find some food. But, yeah, damn. She's a tight one. <laughs> bud all right what's going on we just made it back to neighborville we got the exhaust jammed in here against the passenger seat like i said if this thing was an inch bigger it would not have fit in here it measured out to exactly 59 inches the box and that was the space i had between the back seat and the like rear window pretty much uh but i decided to come all the way home uh not stop out in gurney for food uh i stopped here in naperville at a place i've never been to but i've always wanted to try called tabs and tenders so i ordered stuff for myself and uh christy my girlfriend so um we're gonna try that out tonight i am going to open this box up when i get home uh and kind of pull everything out just make sure everything is 100 percent okay i looked at it briefly while i was there um just to make sure quickly, but we're gonna pull it all out when I get home, just to double check. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it looks there, and tomorrow we'll be installed on my buddy's 2021 uh, Gladiator. Should be awesome. Obviously, so we got this thing for a steal, or I should say my buddy bought it, not myself. So he got this thing for a steal. Um, this came from a dealership. Uh, supposedly, before he bought it, uh, the tips on it, someone had purchased it, complained about there being like a couple scratches and like uh some of the paint like peeling off of the tips on this thing this was obviously as you see this is like an ro number a warranty part uh and they're just gonna throw it out so brand new this got exhaust is like yes it's a my whole one car garage here is not ideal for this but <clears throat> so this brand new was like a 15 1600 dollar exhaust um out of here let's see this right here <laughs> is what the customer turned this exhaust down for and they were gonna throw it out throw it out just 
just literally throw it out that right there so we got this thing for a third of <laughs> what this thing costs brand new i had to drive an hour to get it but fucking worth it so i'm gonna pull this all out scrap this box and just put all this stuff in the mini piece by piece so <laughs> don't get this large box laying around here get in the way so this should be sweet look at that oem borla mopar dual exhaust for a 2021 jt gladiator nice all right and here's the other one the other side Again, that's the extent of the uh damage <laughs> uh I call this one a win. Yeah, right there. That's it. It's gonna be gonna be tossed out. <laughs> All right. So here's just the the muffler and this like generic other piping and hangers and stuff like that. Yeah, this is like literally brand new for fucking nothing. It's gonna be thrown out. Check that out. OEM will per four of its ass. Alright, last bits that are in here. Like the resonator. The resonator and such. Like sensor or something like that. And then just a generic piping for the right side. Again, all looks brand spanking new. This is actually the last thing. Let's see. Instructions. Instructions, parts, and then all the clamps and hangers. This, this literally has never been opened. So, again, call this a win. All right, so all the stuff from the Gladiator exhaust is packed away in the mini. I didn't want to bring that giant box all the way uh, into work tomorrow and such. It's just a hassle. I'm just gonna cut it up and toss it here. But everything's good to go. Ready to, ready to install for tomorrow. So we're gonna call it quits for the night and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow for an install video. Peace.